Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Machine Apple Weisel, and today we have a early box opening of the Premium Gold 2. Um, yeah, it's uh, supposed to be released on Thursday, but uh, I got it today, so today's early, so it's pretty nice. So let's get into this box. I really am looking for the Dark Matter Dragon, since I have uh, Red X complete. All I need is Dark Matter Dragon, so... I'm really hoping for the same luck as uh, the Secret Forces box. Uh, actually, my second box also contained a Brian Axe, so that was awesome. So yeah, um, I think there's just one pack in the European edition and three in the US. So I think, I think we're going European. Since I live in Europe, but you never know. So there we go. That's one pack. I'm actually not certain where the parallel golds are going to be, so let's just see with the first pack and then the last four packs will uh, put the secret gold to the side. Um, so we got Stardust Respark, oh that's parallel gold, secret gold, so they're at the front. Um, can't actually read this. Peropero Cerperus. Parallel Twister, um, Blackwing, and then Nothing the Starlight, nice, Master Hero Anki, um, Blackwing Chris the Krakadon, uh, Debris Dragon, nice, Elemental Hero Neos Alias, Advanced Ritual Art, which also got a reprint in the, um, in the Secret Forces, Regeki, nice. Sylvan Sage Ko Koya, Ring of Destruction, we'll read this uh, later. Also, uh, Cross Card Virus, same thing. Dark Hole, and uh, Enemy Controller. So yeah, that's the first pack. Um, I think, I'm gonna show off the secret rares um, that I know are good. I'm not really sh certain about these two though. Um, so Mass Hero and Blackwing. There we go. So next pack, we'll start with the bottom cards, and I think we got, yeah, we got six secrets, so we need to put those down. There we go. I don't understand why in Europe they always put the secrets at the front, it kind of ruins the surprise. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Six. We go with Exchange of the Spirit. Gonna read that as well later. Uh, Trap Trish Dionia, Temple of the Kings, same thing. Uh, Part of the Duality, nice. Actually looks nice. I don't really like most of the spell card gold rares, but this one I like. Um, Rank of Magic Astral Force, Trap Tricks Atrax, Starlight Road, Doom Calibre Knight, and Formula Synchron. So for the secrets we have Rose Paladin, Rose Lover, Blackwing Pinaka the Waxing Moon, <laughs> Blackwing Card, another Mass Hero Anki, another Blackwing Nothing the Starlight, and Isolde Bell of the Underworld. Nice. This is a new card. It's uh, one of the Underworld cards, really nice. So, third pack. I actually just need to rip through this card for just one open very nicely. So pretty nice to get the Mass Zero Anchor twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we get nice Exodia, the Forbidden One. Dandelion, Sinister Serpent, we'll read that later. Uh, Exchange of the Spirit, uh, Treptrix Dionia, another Temple of the Kings, Elementary Prisma, nice, Veil of Darkness, and Five Headed Dragon. And for the secrets, we get number 14, Greedy. 
Saramea, um, Blackwing Pinaka, the Waxing Moon, another one. Another is old, Dell of the Underworld, nice. Um, Tristan, Knight of the Underworld, uh, placed at a Mass Aranki actually, and another Purple Cerberus. So we kind of get the same secrets over and over. So the pull rate for those are really, yeah, they're really easy to pull. But I haven't seen Dark Matter Dragon yet, but uh, <laughs> yeah, three of the Mass Hero Anki. So that's probably going to be a pretty easy pull then. I'm uh, hoping for at least one Dark Matter Dragon. So here we go with the secrets again. One, two, three, four, five. Six. We get a Buji and Yamato, Compulsory, a Rank of Magic Numerum Force, Dianea, Ceasefire, nice, Right Leg of the Forbidden One, Cephalon, a Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Call to Haunted. So, not really too sure about the um, Exodia Gold Rash, because I've only seen one head and one limb. So, um, they got Blackwing Tamer, Obsidian Hawk Joe. It's so the first one. Um, we got another Stardust Respark. We got um, another Blackwing Chris. We get a nice number 95 Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon. Uh, yeah, I really wanted this one to play in my new deck. So uh, at least we got one. Let's hope for another one. But uh, yeah, I think this is only one a box, probably. Uh, but really nice. Um, I put it all the way over there, but I really want to show it, so I'll put it here and move up the Master Ranky a little bit. You don't simply put, the <laughs> yeah, pull the number 95 and put it over there in the corner. So we get uh, another Isolde Bell of the Underworld, so that's a three now, and a Cat Shark, which looks a bit like a Pokemon to me. <laughs> Let's read the effects, shall we? Uh, well, this card has an Exceeds Material attached that was originally water. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one Exceeds Material from this card and target one level, one rank four or lower Exceeds monster you control. Its attack and defense each become double its original attack and defense until the end of this turn. That's nice. So if you guys weren't able to read, I hope. You know the effect from me reading it. <laughs> then we get cracking to the last box. So let's hope for another Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon. Two, four, six. Put those down here. Flip over the rest. Another duality. Asphalt Force, Atrax, Yamato, Compulsory, Numerum Force, uh, Naturia Beast, nice. Uh, Prisma, and a Master Hyperion. So for the secrets, we have a uh, Junk Giant. Um, another Nothing to Starlight, so that's a playset as well. Um, Absolute King Backjack. I want to say Blackjack, but Backjack. Um, I don't really know this one. Looks kind of cool though. Gonna read it later. <laughs> and then we have another Cat Shark. Uh, another Stardust Respark. And last secret is Santa Claus. Oh, we got a English print in that. That's pretty cool. So yeah. Um, let's get into the reprint. Because they have new card text. And let's see what the... Uh, the English uh, effect is, so during your standby phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can add it to your hand. Also banish one Sinister Serpent from your graveyard during your opponent's next end phase. You can only use this effect of Sinister Serpent once per turn. So you can only like use it in your own turn um, and then add it back during your standby phase. That's basically it. So it's not that great anymore. So. Temple of the Kings. You can activate one trap card to turn it was set. 
you can send one mystical beast of circuit in your monster zone and discard your control to the graveyard. Special summon one monster from your hand or deck, or one fusion monster from your extra deck. You can only use this effect of Temple of the Kings once per turn. Um, that's actually pretty good. Uh, activating the trap card, but the other effect isn't that great, because getting the uh, mythical beast on the field, I, I'm not really sure if that's really easy. Um, if both players have 15 or more cards in their graveyards, pay 1,000 life points. Each player swaps the card in their graveyard with the cards in their deck, then shuffles their deck. You can only activate one exchange of the spirit per duel. Uh, crush card virus. Tribute one dark monster with a thousand or less attack. Your opponent takes no damage until the end of the next turn. Also, your you look at your opponent's hand and all monsters they control. And if you do, destroy the monsters among them with 1500 or more attack. Then, your opponent can destroy up to 3 monsters with 1500 or more attack in their deck. So they can. It's really weird to give them the option though. And then we have, finally, Ring of Destruction. During your opponent's turn, target one face of monster your opponent controls, whose attack is less than or equal to their life points. Destroy that face of monster, and if you do, take damage equal to its original attack. Then inflict to your damage to your opponent equal to the damage you took. You can only activate one ring of destruction per turn. So you da do damage to yourself first, and then you do damage to your opponent. So that's a pretty nifty trick they did on that. Um, I don't really like the reprint effects. Um, the cards really lost their touch to me and I'm not really sure if I'm going to play any of these. Ring of Destruction is kind of okay but the rest of them are just... Uh, maybe Crush Card is usable but I'm not really sure about that one. I like the Black Wings though. I like uh, Black Wing cards. I have a Black Wing deck. Maybe I'll show it off if uh, I really like these cards, but I'm going to show off the Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter deck anyway. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And Machine Emperor Weisel, signing out.